In this video, if I do not convince you that Bruce Lee is not the top martial artist in American history, and that I am, you're a fucking idiot. First of all, his parents, one of them was an elitist, and ultimately he's related to a Dutch Jew, his, his grandfather or great-grandfather. One of his parents, his mother, was an elitist. His father was an actor, a stage actor, and he performed opera during the Japanese occupation, I believe. So when he came here, you know, he was being raised, you know, he had been raised by uh, a guy who believed in putting on a show for people who, on top of that, would act as a martial artist in the show at times. So he was raised in a showbiz elitist family that would allow him that Jewish network and that kind of Asian community network uh, and the infrastructure of the Asian elite, okay, the Chinese elite. And, um, you know, some of his family members had many mistresses and were financially successful and part of the comprador elite. He was from an elitist family. His mother, it wasn't like some generations back, it was his mother. And his father was an actor, okay? And he dressed him up like a little girl. And there's, a, there's this picture of him being dressed up like a little girl held up by his father who has a very gay look on his face. It doesn't take a genius to see uh, how things work. When you truly review his martial arts videos, they're not that impressive. You know, his shows are pretty spectacular. But his actual martial arts training videos on, on camera, uh, you know, he's doing sidekicks in the backyard. You can see him coming from a mile away, okay? He's 5'7", his reach isn't that long. Now, I'm not here to insult Asian people or this, this, and this. I'm not racist, you know? I'm not afraid of homosexuals, okay? I'm just telling it how it is. When you consider that I'm, I've actually set the record and they refuse to publicize it, to record it in any manner, okay? I did 15 hits in about 1.2 seconds from Deontay Wilder's boxing range. I've never even heard of anything that comes close to that. I've timed, uh, you know, Ip Man, Bruce Lee, Jackie Chan. I've seen all of them, you know. A major league fastball is not fast enough compared to the, uh, you know, the, the strikes I've, did, I've done, okay? And you consider the range, right? Didn't think a genius to see that. And when you apply that to the son of two doctors, one a brain surgeon who's a big guy with thick arms, it doesn't take a genius to see that they would be idiots not to take my challenge seriously. There are 400 million practitioners of Taekwondo and certainly millions of practitioners of Kung Fu and other arts as well. During the Japanese occupation, the Jiu-Jitsu guys, the Japanese Jiu-Jitsu guys used to throw Chinese guys on the ground until they died. Martial artists are not honorable people. They are illusionist bitches who conform to the social norms of their culture. At that, they take an illusionist sport, really they made a sport of it, with no practical combat application for the most part because they do it on mats. They do it with an emphasis on presentation and demonstration. You know, the, the, it, you know even Krav, Krav Maga and, and other forms that have sought to find a way to make it more combat effective have come up short. So, at the end of the day, you know, it doesn't take a genius to see who, who remained in uh, Africa, in the martial arts society when everyone else was expelled, who didn't pick up martial arts until later as organized systems. You know, a African organized systems go back probably 100,000 years. But when we look at Asian systems, right, it started like, you know, the, after Buddhism and stuff. They, that's when they really started refining their martial arts. You know, they needed to inject religion into their, their fighting systems. So they were just farmers with a kind of basic spirituality. And then the, Buddhism gave them an organized system of religion where we had organized systems in Africa going back tens of thousands of years. The first uh, depiction of a religion uh, was the python head is dated to about 70,000 years ago. 70,000 years ago. You know, some groups of people are said to not have migrated until out of Africa until after that, you know, or not have to have reached certain parts, certain regions of the planet until much, until tens of thousands of years after that. So when you look at this thing, it is stupid not to see it my way. Africans have been cultivating martial arts for tens of thousands of years. This is why America's only 13% black, and still some of the greatest athletes are, are black people. Ali, Tyson, right? As much as I hate to say it, Mayweather, if you look in terms of record and so on, okay? Uh, Michael Jordan, okay? Magic Johnson, okay? These are greats. Bo Jackson, these are, these are the greats of the sports, the legends, right? And we see a different form of athleticism, like the Larry Bird, Chris Mullins of the world. Okay, they don't show the same kind of martial art coordination 
expressed through their, their respective sports. But you have to factor in the intelligence, right? When I was little, I wanted to be a ninja because I didn't have any African martial art model impressed upon me as important or really impressed upon me, period. So when we look at this thing, right, it's a bunch of weird magic card bitches and we see the occult, right, the crystal ball, okay? A lot of these occultists who are into magic tricks first fixated on uh, uh, Asiatic uh, 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 reactions to the martial arts order of Africa, okay? And that's where you get a lot of these, 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 these magic tricks, right? They go back to temple tricks that were taught uh, to the Asians, certainly through India, it just happens to be the only dark-skinned Asians that people commonly recognize as dark skin, certainly. So when we look at this thing, it doesn't take a genius to see what's going on here and why. It's stupid not to see it that way. You know, nobody has even emerged in the light temple spirit that I'm aware of other than myself. Okay, certainly they didn't make the 4,000 video uh, push that I have because I this whole time I've been looking up videos, you know, before the photophobia hit and I don't see anyone else trying to call out the New World Order as a hero. Haru, you know, Horus, Haru, right? Hero, do the wordplay. The E said the A, the O said the U. Hero, Haru was a black African hero and they mixed with other people over time. That's what the Pharaoh did. He started saying, I'm not going to limit my heart to one people. I'm going to take on wives from other races. Neith was from um, a different, certainly a different ethnic group, uh, a grouping within Egypt in the northern part of Egypt where he was all the way south in the Aswan, Aswan governing, you know. So there's the grace of the swan versus the kind of duck who's applying technology and science to try to make himself seem more graceful. And that is where you get, uh, uh, you know, muscle memory versus conscious and subconscious harmony with God to outmaneuver the enemy in the true spirit, right? You can't capture the spirit with science and muscle memory. You can only truly capture it with the harmony. There's a degree of muscle memory, but the harmony is what really matters. And the science is some form, you know, if anything, is a, is a natural science, no fabricated evidence of studying nature. It's not how do I apply that into the move, the move is learned through try, you know, trial and error for thousands of years. And then it re you reach the harmony. And then there's individual variations based on body types, etc. And that's where you get the tall athletic guy emerging. And there's also, the when you talk about mind, body, and soul, the difference between coordinating a body that's 5'7 and one that is 6'4. Now, it doesn't automatically mean, oh, the tall guy is smarter. If this guy who's 7'4, seven, 7'7, seven, seven, whatever, cannot outmaneuver me, then I have outsmarted him. Okay? But on the same token, if the guy who's 5'7", five, 5'4", five, can't outmaneuver me, I have outsmarted him as well. By Skywalker, you know. Okay. You know, and then eventually getting to the point where I can outmaneuver him. You know, stab him. Okay. Surgical strikes. So I'm faster on my feet and more maneuverable. And I have the fucking world record that no one will accept because they're fucking racist with an emphasis on people like me. When you look at the old pictures of people hanging, right, some of the ones that will stand out the most is the tall guy hanging from a tree. I, uh, there's this one picture, I'm, I'm not allowed to put it, has two tall black guys hanging from a tree and they're both athletic shape. One of them has his dick hanging out, the other one has his pants off and it's replaced with a dress because they used to rape them, that's their cult philosophy. Later on in like the Middle Kingdom or the New Kingdom, set is said to have tried to rape Horus to prove his point. And that also goes back to the the wordplay on sodomite, okay? E day, excuse me, E time days, right? Days is in date and days is in trans mesmerizing, drugged up days, a drug induced days, uh, hypnosis, and that goes back to Gnostic, right? They put you under a trance and get you to believe that they're smart. The whole education system is to, designed to get people to believe that certain forms of intelligence are superior. You know, I got bad grades at some points in school. And on the SSAT that got me into a top college prep school in America, I scored the top one percent, top one percentile, because it was a matter of answer as many questions as you can within a certain time period, okay? And from there, they'll see how many you got right and how many you got wrong and kind of place you somewhere. And I scored pretty much the highest score you can ha have, the top one percentile, okay? And so, you know, all of a sudden, I'm outperforming everybody at a Western exam, okay, after being taught these ideas in the Western system in a way that made it hard for me to communicate my understanding 
and 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 to get a score. So when you break it down by subject by subject, the way it's broken down makes it hard for someone like me to get credit for how smart that they are, how perceptive they are. And people just discard them. They, every generation discard, discard. You know, I think it was Benjamin Franklin who said every generation, the wisest, you know, alcoholism takes the wisest and the smartest of us, the best of us. You know, and why is that? It's because how women treat us as a result of the system. And we all know on some level the geek is elevated unfairly, right? He, he you know, he, if he's so smart, why is he so weird? <clears throat> and he's going to be an ultra conformist later on in life, <clears throat> especially if he's a scientist. <clears throat> and he's going to start crying about how social norms didn't work in his favor because there's a fixated on social norms and they'll go out of their way to be socially normative geek. Oh, you don't, you don't know how to do that on the phone? Oh my God, who, who doesn't know that? Social norms, right? He's a social norm bitch. So how come when he was a little bitch in high school and so on that he didn't conform better? How come he's a weird fucking... Because <laughs> he's not that smart. Okay? It's in a society that's designed to elevate him intellectually above everyone else and he couldn't conform... In, in this kind of basic, no-brainer no kind of manner. Because he's not that fucking smart. Come on. Smart isn't just, oh, I'm good at fucking math or this. It's, 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 it's an idea of intelligence in general. You know, there's different forms of intelligence. And some of them are no-brainers for people who, who come from the culture or a culture that is designed to, uh, 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 you know, uh, accept these people and make them seem as super social normative, uh, uh, make them seem as more socially normative than everyone else. Okay? They drug me and they fume me, and I, I had a four-year, $4,000 four challenge. You're not going to see that from any of these martial artists, you know? You're not going to see that from any of these guys. I am the top martial artist in American history. No one even fucking comes close. You know, who, who has a history like me? How are you going to compare an elitist with a fucking stage actor fucking father who proved to everyone, right, regardless of what challenges and competitions and tournaments he won, how we put it in your minds is through the big screen with special effects and all. And his fucking, one, one of his parents was an elitist, the other was a fucking, uh, 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 you know, an actor, a stage performer. And so he basically transferred those skills that he learned from his father onto the new technology in Hollywood. And understanding how the, the camera worked, right? And frame for frame to make it seem like, doom, doom. You know, it, it, and obviously I can't fucking do that, you know. And so when you really look at it, it's, it's all bullshit. Society's full of bullshit. You look at Hollywood, right? Most people do. Women say, oh my God, the USC fighter. No, they say this guy's a bleeding savage. You know, more often than not. They look at the fucking Hollywood motherfuckers the Van Dams and so on of the world, and say, oh, oh, you know, they make a fucking genius. You know, martial arts has become a, a sick, sick, sick joke. You know, we're survivor bitches. You know, people who have allowed to survive because they didn't go out in a blaze of glory. I mean, there, how many examples are there? Where did the, what happened to the samurai? What happened in the boxer rebellion? They're called boxers, Chinese boxing, because they were in martial arts secret societies, and they were fucking killed, hunted down and killed. What you see is a bunch of survivor peasant class bitches saying, I can do that too. It's a disgrace. All of them should be shut down. Do you have 400 million great warriors defying the new world order? Or do you have 400 million taekwondo conformist bitches who wouldn't last a second against me in ancient combat? I could take any five at once and cut them up and kill them. It's fucking stupid. It's pathetic. That goes for every fucking art. But mine. If you don't see it my way after this video, you're an idiot. If you don't ask yourself why martial artists don't prioritize the honorable acts of facing the new world order effectively, you're a bigger idiot. The first picture is a picture of the Dalai Lama. The next one is the picture of a typical Asian kind of magic card, magician, occultist with the crystal ball. Okay, they pretty much got this from Asiatic peoples. Uh, it's probably where they got the idea from, you know, ultimately coming from Africa. Okay, you know, these early occultists studied in Persia and Asiatic peoples from around, you know, the world and, and Egypt and Babylon. And it doesn't take a genius to see, you know, what's going on here and why African martial arts aren't included. You know, if you think Bruce Lee's a top martial artist, you're a fucking dumbass. You know, you're an idiot. You know, you, you believe Hollywood, which is even worse than believing the fucking news. You're stupid.